Hello friends and welcome to the class of mathematics. So in our last video, we just learned about the concept of similarity and ratios of areas of two triangle. So in today's video, we just learn a very important theorem that is called as basic proportionality theorem. In short, it is called as BPT. So let's prove the BPT. So let's learn what is BPT. So I just write the statement of the theorem. So what the statement is, if a line parallel to the side of triangle intersecting the remaining side in two distinct points, then the line divides the side in the same proportion. Okay. So actually I just draw the figure. I just write what is given in the figure. So we just know how to read the figure. So reading figure is a very important part in geometry. So what the figure contain is called reading the figure. We just read it. So what looks in a figure is called reading the figure. I just see the figure and I, what I look, I just write in the form of given statement. Okay. So I just see there is a triangle A, B, C, a line L, which is parallel to side B, C. So what they given if a line parallel to a side. So that line is parallel to side B, C. And that line L intersect A, B. So look here, line L intersect AB at point B and line L intersect AC at point Q. Okay, so this is what given in the figure. I just write it and then we will prove it. So triangle ABC, line L is parallel to BC. What we are just say, line L intersect AB at P and AC at Q. Now I want to prove that. So to prove, what we want to prove? The remaining side into this point, then the line, so this is the proven part. The line divides the side in the same proportion. So that line L divides side AB at P and AC at Q. So the part made by, made with the point P is AP and PB and part made with the point Q is AQ and QC. So it divides in the same proportion. That means we want to prove that AP divided by PB is equal to AQ divided by QC. Okay. So we just have some additional work in the figure that is called construction. So I just have one construction here. I just join that PC and I just join QC. Okay. So this is the additional part. So it is called construction. So I just write construction join PC and QB. Okay. Now we actually what in the theorem is we just prove it. So let's prove it. Now I just just concentrate the triangle APQ. I just write additional part is there APQ. This is my first triangle and PQB. So this is PQB. Okay. So concentrate the part that I am overwrite it. So APQ and PQB. This triangle is there. I just enlarge it. So now concentrate here. So here is APQ. This is triangle. Here is PQB. PQB. That is this triangle. Okay. I just write for the sake of convenience. Try it is triangle number one. It is triangle number two. This is triangle number one. This is triangle number two. Okay. Now I just twist this triangle. So this A, P, B, A dash, P dash, B, I just to the ground level. So twisted like this one triangle. So I get this figure. So this is your A, P, B, this part. I just twist it here. Now concentrate the triangle A, P, Q. So A, P, Q, this is my triangle number one and P, Q, B, P, Q, B, this is my triangle number two. Now what see in yesterday's lecture, we just have the properties of triangles, ratios of triangle. So in this triangle, the basis is different. This is the base for triangle A, P, Q and this is the base for triangle Q, P, Q, B. Now for both triangle, there is same height. Height is same for this one and also this one. So if the height is same one, the areas of ratios of these two triangle is equal to corresponding ratios of their basis. Okay. 
Now I just write this one. So area of triangle APQ APQ divided by area of triangle PQB PQB. So what happened here? Their area is equal to the ratios of corresponding bases. So what is the base of this triangle AP? Here is AP is base is equal to AP divided by PB. So I just write the reason it is same height. Their height should be same one. Okay. Now just concentrate to the second one. So APQ and PQC. Okay. Now I just concentrate here APQ and PQC. Now just concentrate triangle APQ. Same. It is the same one. And now PQC. Okay. APQ and PQC. So here is I just enlarge it. Here is APQ and PQC. Okay. Now I just switch the triangle like this. So A dash Q dash C is become like one and your part P should goes here. So there are two triangle APQ. Here is APQ. This is the first triangle and second triangle. So it is PQC. So it is triangle number two PQC triangle number two. Okay. So this is the base one AQ and QC is the base of this triangle. So now again concentrate. What is the height here? Height is same for both triangles. So height H is there, which is same for triangle P, AQC, APQ, and PQC. So again we are using the same property. If the height is same, then their areas or ratios of the areas is equal to the ratios of corresponding base. So what is base here? AQ and QC. I just write here. So this is the second point area of triangle APQ divided by area of triangle. So here is APQ and what is the second? I just write here Q and what is second triangle? PQC area of triangle PQC is equal to corresponding their bases. So what is base here? AQ and what is the base of this triangle? QC. Here is AQ divided by QC. So what is the reason? It is a same height. Okay. Now just concentrate for this triangle. Okay. So now look here. Here is what is the common part? Area of triangle APQ is there in this equation. We are writing it is one. Equation number two. Okay. So APQ is here. APQ is also here. Now just concentrate to prove part. AP upon PB is equal to AQ upon QC. So AP upon PB and AQ upon QC we just have there. If they are equal, so this left hand side should be equal one. Okay, so this is equal part. So if we want to prove this equal, we must prove left hand side should be equal. But in left hand side, APQ is there, APQ is there in both equation. It is only necessary to prove that area of triangle PQC is equal to area of triangle. So uh, what uh, PQB, here is part is PQB is there. Okay, so we want to prove that area of triangle PQB is equal to area of triangle PQC. Now just concentrate this figure. So this part is there. I just close this part. So we want concentrate to this part only. I just enlarge it. So here is PQBC. So this triangle is there. PQB. So PQB, this part is there. And second part is PQC. P, Q, C, this triangle is there. Okay. I just reverse the figure. So P, Q becomes like this one. Okay. So this is the base. So both triangle having same base. So base is same one. Your base should be same one. Now for triangle P, Q, B, P, Q, B, the height. And for triangle P, Q, C, P, Q, C, height. So height is also same one. This height is same for both triangle. And we know that if the base and height should be same one, their areas are equal. So this is very key part. So I just write area of triangle APQB. PQB is equal to area of triangle PQC. Okay. So if the areas is equal, 
Now what is the left hand side says? This left hand side is equal. And if in an equation left hand side is equal, it is necessary that the right hand side must be equal. So left hand side of this part is equal. Therefore, we can say that AP divided by PB is equal to AQ divided by QC. Okay. So we are using the properties of ratios of area of triangle. So we can prove this theorem also by test of similarity. So our theorem says that the sides divides in the same proportion. The proportion is AP divided by PB is equal to AQ divided by QC. Okay, let's see the, this problem. So what the problem gives? In triangle AD, in this triangle, AC is equal to 15, A is equal to 25, AD is equal to 20, BD is equal to 8. State whether the line BC is parallel to D and U the reason. Okay. Now I just put the values in the figure. AC is given, it is 15. Now AE is given. So this part is given, that is 25. So what this part? 25 minus 15. So this is 10. Okay. Now AD, uh, BD is given, BD is 8. And this part AD is given that is 20. So I need AB. So how I get AB? AD minus BD is equal to AD. So 20 minus 8 is equal to 12. Okay. Now there is one part that there is called the converse. So what is the converse of BPT? I just explain here. So if here is ABC triangle is there. And here is PQ. Okay. So in BPT, what you say that if that line PQ is parallel to BC, then it divides in the same proportion. Now what Converse says, if the part or the segment of the line is in same proportion, then that PQ is parallel to BC. This is what the Converse part of BC, uh, BPT. Now we just prove this by the Converse of BPT. Okay. So I just have the ratios. AB divided by BD. What AB divided by BD is? Here is 12 divided by 8. 12 divided by 8 means 4 twos are 8. Here is uh, 3. So 3 by 2 is the value of AB divided by BD. So I just again find the value of AC divided by CE. So AC is 15. Here is 10. Again here is 3 by 2. So from this equation 1 and 2, both AB divided by BD is equal to AC divided by CE. Okay. So, I just explain the converse here. If AP divided by PB, these ratios are in the same proportion, then we say that line are parallel to each other. Now, their values are same. So, AB divided by BD is equal to AC divided by CE. Therefore, we just say that AC, so line BC is parallel to B. And the reason for that, it is converse. Converse of BPT. Okay. So BPT says line parallel, the segments are in the same proportion. And the converse says if the segment ratios are same, then the line are parallel. So there is one uh, problem that is right on the board. So the figure is given A, B, D. So A, B is parallel to E, C. A, B is parallel to E, C. Angle B is equal to 90. And A, E is equal to 3. I just put the values in the figure. A, E is equal to 3. So E, D is equal to 5. B, D. So they are given B, D is equal to 32. So if the lines are parallel to the third line of triangle, we can use the theorem of BPT. So we are using the theorem of BPT. So it is not 32, it is 6.4. Okay. So if the line is parallel to the third line of triangle and intersect into distinct point, you are using the BPT. So we are using here BPT. So BD is equal to 6.4. I just write CD as X. So when CD is X and BD is 6.4, what is BC? BC is 6.4 minus X. Okay. So I just use the BPT. So by using BPT, so what BPT says, BE, so here is DE divided by EA, DE divided by EA is equal to DC, DC divided by EB. 
DC divided by CB. Okay. Now this is what BPT said. Now we just put the values here. So DE is equal to 5 ohm. AE is equal to 3. DC or CD is equal to X. And BC is equal to 6.4 minus X. Okay. Now just cross multiply. 5 into 6.4 minus X is equal to 3X. So 5 into 6.4 here is 32. 5 into X minus 5X is equal to 3X. So minus 5X having minus sign. I just change the side. It goes to plus. So 32 is equal to 5X plus 3X. So 32 is equal to 8X. 8 is in multiplication. When I change the side it goes to division. So 32 divided by 8 is equal to X. So X is equal to 8 4 is 32. Okay. Now what the values of X? Here is 4. Now we want to find CE. CE. So there is key point here. Okay. AB is parallel to CE. So AB is parallel to CE. And this angle B is 90. And obviously that means this is also 90 because they are parallel to each other. They are given. So that triangle ECD is a right angle triangle. Is right angle triangle. Okay. So ECD is right angle triangle. And in right angle triangle, hypo is given, one side is given. So you are using the theorem of Pythagoras. So what he says Pythagoras? Hypo square is equal to sum of square of remaining side. So what is hypo here? ED. So ED square is hypotenuse. Okay. This is the hypotenuse. One side is CD square plus other side is EC square. So first side is CD square plus EC square. This is for Pythagoras theorem. I just put the values. ED is equal to 5 square. CD is equal to 4 square. EC find out as it is EC square. So 5 square, 25, 16, 4 square plus EC square. Just take 16 to this side having changing sign to minus. 25 minus 16 is equal to EC square. Here is 9 is equal to EC square. So EC square is equal to 9. Therefore EC. Find the square root of 9. It is 3. So what the value of EC? EC find to be 3. So I think you got the theorem of BPT and the problem related to that BPT. So if you are having any queries or any problem, you just comment and please look this video very carefully. Thank you.